my soul. Let me right in my face. She can see through my soul. I said, don't think about it. Alright guys, so welcome back to another video. Today we're reviewing something different. It's not a car, it's not a bike, it's not, um, it's, not, it's something different. So this is the go-kart kit from Ninebot. As you can see, very sleek, very nice, um, it's electric powered, um, charges in 3.5 hours, uh, max speed is 15 miles an hour, um, very, very nice go-kart, and uh, yeah, let's run down the specs. The main concern I'm sure you guys are wondering is how tall can you be and how short do you have to be. So I say ages 10 to everything above. This fits up to 3 foot 4, 265. And as you can see, I fit relatively nice in this go kart. As you can see, my knees are sticking out, but I'm 6'2. It's gonna happen. I mean, that's the whole point of a go kart anyway. Usually your knees are sticking out unless you're like short. So I fit really nicely, very firm. You feel very into it, and you feel the one G force from this electric motor powered by Nine Bot Segway S hoverboard, which powers this whole go kart until it runs. And the fact that you feel one G from this little thing is actually really impressive. That also is the fact that it's electric and it's a very fast uh, go-kart. And you guys saw how good the turning was. So let me show you how you burn out the tires. And with this go-kart, you can also take it in the snow. Right here you have the battery percentage. As you can see, it's going up and down. And in the 9 bot app, you have three modes for speed. Safe mode, which is five miles per hour, new rider mode, which is 11, and sport, which is 15. I personally like sport, and let me guys show you the sport mode acceleration. So let's take this thing on a test drive. All right, so we're gonna e-brake it and wash control it to a downhill and let's see what happens. As you can see, it emits a nice electric noise. It's electric motor. Um, it has no suspension, so if you hit a bump like this, you're gonna feel it. Or like this. As you can see, there's no suspension whatsoever, so you feel every bump. Um, I honestly like that feel. It makes it feel fast, it makes you feel tighter. All right, so now we're gonna see what it's like for, I guess, city use. Let's see what it's like on a sidewalk. Got a full throttle. Very usable. So if you live in a city and you want to take this on a sidewalk, you can easily do that. And it's usable in the winter and the summer. All right, so what we got right here is uh, gravel, as you can tell. So we're gonna see what this thing tests like on that. You feel uh, all the bumps, but uh, it stays in the ground. Pretty nice. Yeah, the road test overall is definitely really nice with this go-kart. Um, I'd give it probably a 7 out of 10 just because the lack of suspension and there's no like, you don't really get a pleasure when you're riding because it's so bumpy, but it is fun. So that's why I'm also giving it a 7 out of 10. Um, also very nice grip with the tires. I definitely approve of that, especially since it's rear wheel drive. Right here is going to be the, I guess you could say 0 to 17 mark because that's its top speed on 20 degree roads because it's winter. So this thing has pretty nice grip. Let me show you guys. So yeah, a 
breaking the breaking is also really good. So and the braking comes from there actually is no brakes. The motor itself just locks itself up. If you want an immediate stop, you're gonna to want to use the e-brake right here. Um that gives you an instant stop. So uh yeah, I'd give it a seven out of ten again on the braking. Alright guys, so that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the review of the nine butt go-kart. I'll put the link in the description on where to buy it. Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.